Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to use the 700D in movie mode. You want to make sure that uh, autofocus is set to manual focus and what that does is it enables this focus ring to be manually adjusted. The zoom ring stays unaffected, but in manual focus mode, you can do some manual focus adjustments. Please do not try and move this ring in autofocus mode as, as it could damage the camera. Okay, spin the camera around. Uh, now this camera has a dedicated uh, movie button mode. So when you switch it on, go one switch more and it will be in movie mode. Change the mode dial to M for manual. Uh, let's quickly get our uh, mug in shot. Uh, on this model, uh, it's touch screen. So if you press the Q button, let's make sure our movie settings are 1920 by 1080p at 24 frames a second to give it that cinematic look. Okay, let's press set there. Now the three things you need to adjust um, as with photography are the three elements of the exposure triangle. So we have shutter speed. Now shutter speed has to be twice your frame rate. So in this instance, that 50 has to stay the same. It must stay on 50. And I adjusted that using this dial here. So you can see me making the adjustment there, but please for it to move uh, smooth, leave it on 50. So that leaves us our uh, aperture and our, our, and our ISO, which change depending on the environment that you are in. So to adjust our aperture, I hold down AV and spin uh, the dial at the top. Okay, so whilst holding down this button and moving that uh, dial, uh, I can make those adjustments. So my limit here is uh, 5.0. Um, the What you are supposed to do is make sure that this white uh, mark is in the middle of this exposure um, band here. Um, ISO on this camera has its own uh, dedicated button so when I press ISO you can let the camera um, control the ISO um, or you can manually do it so I'm pressing ISO button again and because I'm indoors under fluorescent light should be between 400 and 800 so 800 gives me a bit more uh, room to play with um, so I can um, uh, make those adjustments there if I want the image a bit sharper so let me press the exposure button so I can st still see I'm slightly underexposed. And there we are in the middle there. Now, to manually focus, you need to press on this button up here. It looks like a magnifying glass with a plus symbol in the middle. Uh, you can press it um, once, twice, and then it comes back. You're not actually zooming. Um, you're not changing the frame of the image. You're just uh, zooming in to make sure everything's sharp and in focus. So I'm going to press it once. Zoom in on a detail. If you're filming a human subject, it's good to zoom in on the eye. So I'm making that adjustment there. I'm moving the focus ring as I showed you at the beginning of this video. Once it is nice and sharp, round about there, you press the plus symbol again to zoom back out. When you are ready to record, um, you press this button with the red dot, press it and you'll get a, a red symbol top right to show you that you're recording and you'll get the counter that, that begins counting upwards. So you see the, the visual um, connection there. So you know you are recording when the red dot is on and the uh, timer starts. To stop recording, press the button again and that's it. So don't forget that each scenario that you are in, even if you turn the camera 90 degrees to your left, the light the way the light affects the image changes. So you need to keep an eye on those settings, ensuring that shutter speed stays at 50 and you make those manual adjustments to the aperture and the ISO.